What it do, YouTube? It's MBRK Kevin. I'm out here at a customer's property today who had a tornado come through this year and ended up uh, taking one of his MB Ranch King blinds and throwing it into a pine tree. So what we're doing today is we're out here trying to replace all of the windows and the tower kit to make sure that he can use it for this upcoming season. And what I wanna do in this video is show you how to replace a window even if it's on a window or a unit like this that got thrown into a tree by a tornado. Take a look with me. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate you watching. Let's get after it. So as you can see on this video, uh, the window is broken. It's uh, got busted out, That's some of the glass anyway. So what you gotta do is you gotta take all these self-tapping screws out, even the ones up here, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and then you also have to take out um, the ones along the bottom as well. Up here on the window shade, right here is a rivet, just a pop rivet. So this right here kind of holds the window in place for you while you're putting your self tappers in. Um, but what you gotta do is you gotta uncover that so you can take it out. Otherwise, when you try to take this thing out, it's just gonna make it a pain in the butt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this knife to cut kind of around this caulk, which you're probably gonna have to replace all this caulk anyway. So good thing, just to go ahead and remove it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Uh, and then we'll show you what everything looks like once the, once the, um, the caulk is gone. So I finally got it. Uh, I got some of it off. I'm going to finish taking the rest of it off here in a second. But that is the rivet I'm talking about. Uh, and you can take that out pretty much just with a small drill bit. All right. So next you take your 5 16 socket and you remove all of these self tappers. If it'll focus, there you go. You got some up here along the top. And then you obviously got the ones here on the window. Um, there's going to be these in the corner and these in the corner. You don't need to worry about those. It's just the ones here on the window itself. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. All right, after you've got all of those screws taken out, even the ones up top, uh, the window is still going to be, you know, secured because it still has this caulk here. And all I have is this uh, knife that I had in the truck. Um, but if you have, you know, a scraper or a utility knife or anything like that, basically what you're going to need to do is get in here and get that loose. Sorry, get that loose, the frame and the window loose from the actual blind itself. So I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. All right, we're back here. I've got the window, uh, the, the, the caulk anyway, removed from the frame a little bit. I've drilled out that um, pop rivet and it's still attached here to the window shade so the way that i found to do that is if you put your hand on the window shade and push on the frame of the window it'll come loose and it'll look pretty much like this where it's not attached so uh, once i get this window out i'll show you what it looks like once the window is completely removed and then we'll start on putting it back in there all right, so this is uh, the window removed. Um, because we took out this rivet here in the dead center, the rain guard came out with it. But don't worry, because that is super easy to put back into place. You just kind of slip it back in there, put another uh, either rivet or self tapper in there and it'll hold it in place. Um, so that is how you remove a window out of an MB Ranch King blind. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, replace the window. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to put this new window in. It's pretty easy. You just line up the grooves there and it'll just slide up just like this, right into place. And now you're good to go. 